<laughs> I'm so confused. Ah! Welcome to a cooking video. We are here. We're joined today by Daniel, a professional chef, a guy who actually knows what he's Which doing. Daniel? Uh, Daniel. Not this one. This is Evie, <laughs> as a lot of you might know. And today we are doing a souffle of sorts. Yep, we're doing a raspberry souffle <clears throat> and we're doing some vanilla cream <clears throat> on top of that. A souffle of sorts. Yep, a raspberry <laughs> souffle. <laughs> yes. I'm going to make the first one. Hey. You guys are basically going to copy everything that I do. Okay. Oh, I'm only going to do it once. Take your ramekin and all you're going to do is take some softened butter and then you're going to brush it around mm. the ram ramekin like this. Okay. The Rami Malik. Wait, what's it called? A ramekin. Ramekin. Rami Malik. Oh. Okay, so when you're brushing, you need to brush it upwards. Put your sugar into the ramekin. Then pour take in, the ramekin pour it back in, yeah. and then yeah, you rotate it while pouring out. This is already so far out of my ballpark. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to dice some of this apple here. Yes. And this is going to go at the bottom of the souffle once that's set. You're going to take off a bit of the apple. Now it's flat, so hey, it's stable, wanker. so you're not going to like cut yourself. And then basically you're wanting to make perfect cubes of apple. Hey. Cut it into strips first. Well, that, that is phenomenal. Cut your finger. <laughs> and then all you're going to do is slice it into cubes. And then all you need to do is put a little bit of your sugar and then that's going to start to help release some of the sugars from the apple mm. and to make it a bit more sticky so it just sticks to the bottom. Release the... sugar by adding sugar. <laughs> Exactly. Next, this, unfortunately for you guys, you, you're, you're not going to be doing That's this. That's fine, you do yeah. it. You've explained already, I'll, yeah. I'll say to the camera, this is a bit where we can only do it once, so Daniel's going to uh -oh. do it for us, because we're all idiots. <laughs> We've made a raspberry puree. Me? This is something that I made earlier. Me? We're going to add sugar to that, and then corn flour. You guys follow me over here. So you've got a whisk. It's going to come to the boil. And then you've got to whisk for one minute after it boils. And then we're just going to put that into the bowl. Do you want that in the fridge? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, no, I've, I've already done it worse than Daniel did. Back into the jug. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, get in there. Fridge? Fridge. Fridge. <laughs> fridge. Gay on Wednesdays. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what day is it today? It is it's Monday. Monday. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> That's supposed to be the quickest. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Been waiting so patiently. Are you done yet? No. Right. <laughs> yeah, baby. Now you gotta do the sugar part, Evie. Yeah, oh. Sugar. oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Mine's gonna be quite sugary, but oh well. Yeah, so is the table. Chicken. Nice, nice, nice. Nah. Whoa, that's massive. That's what she said. Um. Do I just go to town now? Yeah. yeah. No. Perfect. No. Um, like that. I can get that last little bit. And yeah. That's all right. And then you got your cubes. I will say, Max, if you're working in the kitchen, you'd need to speed up. You're going very slow. I'm working <coughs> at a pace that I'm comfortable with. No. You're fine. <laughs> at the end of this, Daniel will be judging the three of our souffles, and yep. the loser has to travel to Zambia. Where is that? Did you just make that up? I might have done. I think it's a country, but I've never heard of that. I'm pretty sure it's a country. Zambia. Oh, yeah, Zambia. Yeah. <laughs> I think you were thinking of Zimbabwe and oh, Zambia. Yeah, yeah. Google said, did you mean Zambia? So yeah. I'm going to assume I meant Zambia. Oh no. Oh, sugar time. This is oh. what you guys are going to be doing in a minute. I'm going to show you once, like I did with the last time. <laughs> is your white. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Sorry. That goes into the mixer. This is cream of tartar, and we're putting a pinch of that in there. Oh. What that is, it's just going to help stabilize the meringue. And then the sugar, we're going to gradually add to the Wait, egg whites. Why are we making meringue? Um, it's part of the souffle. So there's meringue in souffle. The raspberry stuff that we've done is just the flavor. Mm, chicken. Yeah. Is a souffle a meringue? No. <laughs> a souffle is a souffle. <laughs> What's in a souffle? What is the meringue <laughs> This is what's in the souffle. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm so confused. Stabilise the meringue. Oh, uh, so mean? basically it's going to Sorry. help it rise evenly. It will be less likely to be over whipped as well. Should we just sprinkle some cream of tartar in your mouth? Stabilise. Stabilise. <laughs> that is me. Oh. She's upset. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you have actually upset. Carry on. Personally, Quick. I wouldn't have that. Quick. Carry on. <laughs> We're going to start whipping the egg. Okay. 
And keep adding in your sugar. There's a way to check if your meringue is ready. You can tip it over someone's head. There's a better way. You can put a bit of the meringue on your finger and then run your fingers together. If you don't feel any bits of sugar, that means that all the sugar's dissolved and your meringue's ready. What we're gonna do is mix this with 100 grams of this, and then it's gonna go into your ramekin. So you incorporate a little bit into your puree over here. And you don't wanna lose any of that fluffiness of the meringue, because yeah. if you do lose it, then your souffle won't rise. Would have just dumped that into the other pan. <laughs> Take one third of this meringue and put it into there, and then you're just folding that through. Not so much beating anymore, because you've just done that with the first bit. Exactly, well demonstrated, Eden. <laughs> you're going to add it back into your bowl. Slowly fold it all together without losing any of that air. Hey, what about the apple? So the apple is now going to be- Fuck off! Hey. <laughs> so now you're going to put your apple into this ramekin here, which you earlier cut and mixed with your sugar. The way you put it in is very important as well, because you obviously want it to go down into all the corners, because otherwise the souffle won't rise. Yeah. Okay, so once you put your mix in there, scrape off the top. Ah. All in one go. It's very important to clean the sides, otherwise it's going to be dirty when it comes out of the oven. And then in order to help the souffle rise evenly as well, take your thumb, put it onto the side of the ramekin, and then run your finger around the souffle mixture, and that's just going to help the souffle. Eat the rest. Yeah. Well, no, don't eat the rest. <laughs> <laughs> that is ready to go into the oven. So now it's our turn to make the meringue slash souffle mix, and uh, we've got to do it as a team, because otherwise it's going to take us a <coughs> day. So what are you on? Eggs? Crap. <laughs> what? Well, Fine, maybe. Okay. okay, you crack the eggs, I'll separate the yolks, and then whisk. I'll put in the puree. What? Do you remember what you're doing? No! no. Oh. Alright then. She's winding up. Here we go, get ready, everyone. <laughs> Just chuck hey. that one in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked. Yeah. Mm. This is the best you've ever done with eggs, I yeah. think. Thank you. Thank you! That is so. Oh, wow! <laughs> It hasn't popped, it hasn't popped, it hasn't popped, it hasn't popped. Oh, it's on the washing machine. Oh, no. <laughs> Max, get something, I can't. <laughs> There's a hair in it. Hey. Oh, I'll get it. Hey. Already a disaster. No, not more hair. <laughs> she gets so chaotic hey. around eggs. Oh, Come on, hey. Evie, I believe in you, I believe in you, I believe in you. Hey, I believe in you. Cut, cut chicken. Hey. Come on, last stretch, last stretch. Yeah, she's rubbing it all on me, brilliant. So you're going to take your souffles out of the oven. Going to put it onto a plate, dust some icing sugar, a couple of raspberries as well. Mm. Lovely. All I'm going to do is take some of this double cream ah. with a little bit of vanilla uh -oh. and some sugar. And you're going to whisk that. And then basically you're making a cream to go with the souffle. Okay. No hair <laughs> <laughs> And what we're going to do is um, we're going to make a quenelle out of this. A what? A quenelle. Quenelle. It's an egg-shaped scoop. So stop about now. Take some hot water and put the spoon inside of that. That's going to help the cream not stick. And then you go into the cream and then you come back around and then you create this really nice scoop. <laughs> and then who's going to try first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I go about it? Can you live here, please? <laughs> yeah, do we it's even such need to a make art? Strange, like, consistency. Is it moussey? Yeah. Okay, so we've got 200 grams of egg whites. Do we want to put the pinch in first? Activate it. I can't remember. I actually don't remember any of this. <laughs> Alright, and it goes. And he did two pinches technically, so I'm going to do two as well, just to be safe. Now, I don't know how this one works. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not that. I'm guessing, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we want to mix it. Have we got the sugar? Have you weighed out the sugar? No. Oh no, guys. <laughs> so we got this being whisked. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Now, right? No. It's now! No, it's not, like, not now. It's, it's now! now. It's, it's now. now! It's now! He stopped as well. Not now! I put the sugar in, you moron! But that doesn't look like it would stay upside down. I don't think that's done. That's I'm not going to stay upside down. Max is sure it's done. That's not going to stay upside down. No. Right, ready, Evie? <laughs> Here we go. Here's the oh, test. No. Please oh, no. don't do it. You nearly dropped it. Wait, no, one more, one more test. Why? Test. Okay, just so we... Why me? So we'll just get all of that. 200 grams of this. Yeah. Nice struggle. Evie, I'm doing. Shut up. <laughs> Shush. Alexa, stop. Oh, you did it, you did it. She needs the spat. 
don't spit. So just a little so bit of that. Put it in there. there. Yeah. Like that. Okay, yeah, more. I think more. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 more, no, no, more. No, Daniel more. didn't put that much in. More. He didn't put that much in to start. More. Do that first and then do more. Ah! Hey, cunt. <laughs> we could just eat it now. I say we just watch Max spoon eat the whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get all of it, Daniel. Okay. I want it all. Yep. Giving me the best review. What do you say? I want it all. I want it. I want it. I want it. I'm gonna have and the fortune. We went with different lines. Folding time. It doesn't look as pink as Daniel's one. Shut up. All right, I finally got my apples in. Now it's time to. Oh, ruin it basically. Put it in there. Chicken. Yeah. There we go. On top. A bit more on top. Too much. <laughs> cool. Now this is a bit more of an awkward one because it's not got quite the same width. You can do your tidying thing with the tissue. No, not that. You don't do that. Tastes very good. And then uh, do the thumb thing first. <laughs> that wasn't the way he went round. <laughs> yeah, but it, it looks fine. It looks fine. Okay, it's time for them to all go in the oven now. So uh, bon voyage. <laughs> and then that one can go right there. Sweet. Willy. It's go time. It's souffle in time. Oh, that, that looks yes. alright. The cream. Some double cream, some vanilla. Sugar, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's enough. Perfect. Didn't he use the hand No. no. You got to be speedy. Shut up! <laughs> you remember how to do it? Do you want to do yeah, so you, you pull it across and then you go back. <laughs> And then you and then you go back again and you have the perfect <laughs> lump oval. <laughs> Can I just quickly do a demo? First of all, push it all to one side, then take your spoon, you go in, around, and then you take it up like oh. that. And then it can go on the plate, and then you have that oval shape. So we go that way. And around. Yeah, I did not do that right. Yeah. Right, that's not good, but that'll have to do because that. Yeah. That's the best I can do with that. Raspberries! I did this completely on purpose because I knew that the raspberries would want to just sit right there on top like that. And there we go! We've got our, our finished products. I'm so happy with it. Mine is abysmal. I'm gonna eat it and I'm sure it's gonna taste just as good as the other. I want Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> so, so seeing as these will all taste the same because they were all made from the same batch, which one do you think wins just based on looks? Mine. <laughs> My one. In, term of, in terms of risability, definitely yours, Harley. Yeah, yours was. But aesthetically, Evie's looks the best. Listen, I got stiffed with a Pickle Rick mug, alright? <laughs> <laughs> alright, look at this! <laughs> you You're telling me that, that. isn't the best! Thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much. Thank Making you. us seem slightly competent. Make sure you go check out all of Daniel's stuff. He does chef things on the internet. It's very cool. And uh, Evie, Evie also does, but she's not as good. I just chuck stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, then, then, <laughs> hang on, I'm gonna be Oh, oh my no. spine! Oh, <laughs>